you mentioned we can be okay or confident with relative ages, just not absolute. And so, correct me if I'm wrong, John, is this why when a critic asks, why are lower rocks in the geological rock strata? Why do they date older than rocks at the top, higher in the geological column? Is that because during the flood, the lower rocks, the, the, the earlier rocks are experiencing more hits of accelerated decay than the rocks that are laid down later in the flood? Yes, the simple answer is yes. That, that, that this, this decay is, is a, <clears throat> a cumulative uh, situation. You have, you're accumulating dollar products as a result of the, of the decay. And if you uh, all of a sudden have some melted rock appear on the scene during the flood that, uh, you know, doesn't, where those dollar products are, are not present, uh, once that rock solidifies, those daughter products start accumulating. And if you date date that rock, it's going to have a, a younger date than a rock that was uh, that crystallized, solidified, cr crystallized earlier. Earlier, so it's it, it's a, just the, the the reasoning for giving uh, reliable relative dates is that these uh, these daughter products. You're primarily measuring the daughter amount of daughter products, uh, and and uh, those just accumulate with time. Uh, uh, once once the once if if there's some process that has homogenized mixed things together, you know, uh, you know, usually there's some uh, some means where the the clock is reset when the when the when the when the rock gets melted and recrystallizes. So that in effect restarts, re resets the clock to zero. So, uh, uh, so there, there's a, there's a, there's a very plausible reason why the, why the relative dates, why these, these methods should give fairly consistent, reliable uh, relative dates. Yeah, that makes sense. And so when it comes to, because earlier we talked a lot about polonium radio halos, when it comes to the helium and zircon, and I know you gave a talk on this, but in a nutshell, like an elevator pitch, is the reason why this is good evidence for accelerated decay because helium's a slippery molecule and we still find helium in zircon crystals, but we also find trace amounts of lead telling us that there has been decay from uranium to lead but if these zircons are really billions of years old, there re really shouldn't be as much helium as we find. And so the only way to explain that basically is accelerated decay to retain the helium, but also explain the lead from decay, uh, from uranium to lead decay. W would that be more or less accurate, John? Yes, that's. I'd say that's a general. Uh, that's that's pretty good description. Uh, the uh, uh, the, the key there is that we can we can in the lab we can measure how fast helium leaks uh, for, out of zircons how how fast helium diffuses through the the, the uh, zircon crystal uh, there are some subtleties I, I don't want to uh, deny that and I don't want to get into them here but uh, basically uh, our measurements demonstrated that that uh, the uh, the helium in the samples we measured from northern New Mexico, from Fenton Hill, uh, they sh should not have retained their helium more than a few thousand years, given how you know the measurements that were made made on how fast the helium was was migrating through the crystal, and uh, uh, but. Both the lead, we, we the amount, both the amount of helium and the amount of lead, pointed to a a, a an, an age. If we're using uh, current day decay rates for uranium, uh, you know, if those rates had been constant through time, those uh, that rock should have been 1.5 billion years old. There was that much lead there, mm -hmm. and there was also that almost that much helium there. Uh, but the, the, the rate that the helium leaks out indicated that uh, those rocks were not 1.5 billion years old. They could, you know, 
couldn't be much older than 8,000 years. Uh, and the, the, the statistical uh, average number was about 6,000 years for the age, how long, and how long that decay had been going on to accumulate the helium. It's a great answer. And from my understanding, Dr. Russell Humphreys put out a technical paper, published a paper showing why the amount of helium and how you pointed out that we can measure the amount uh, of helium as it dissipates gives us about 6,000, six to 10,000 years. Yeah, that was, that was in our rate report, which is downloadable online from www.icr.org slash rate two. Uh, and, and Dr. Humphrey's chapter on, on the helium in, in zircon project is chap that's chapter two and you can end you can download individual chapters from that report that 800 page report you can download the individual chapters now for free on that icr website and uh if you want want all the details uh i forget how long that chapter is i think it's about 80 pages long but uh if you want all the details on that work uh, that's the best place to go.